Traveler Beer Company out of uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania. Where's that? Uh, Burkinsville, Pennsylvania. This one says in collaboration with the Boston Beer Company. So uh, Boston Beer Company, of course, does Samuel Adams. So this ought to be cool. This is the Jacko Traveler Shandy, or the Traveler Jacko Shandy. I, I assume it's Traveler Jacko Shandy, just because it's the Traveler. So, all right, Jacko, as in Jacko Lantern. Uh, but usually when you hear Jacko, I think of Michael Jackson for something they call him Jack over here. Anyway, let's go pop this thing. Pop this thing open. New carbonation come out of there. Just says a tra just says a traveler on the can uh, the crown. No big whoop. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, pour this thing 4.4% by the way, which is very, very low. Let's go ahead and pour it straight on in and try to get some head, because I doubt this pumpkin. Well it says just shandy, by the way. Uh, a shandy pumpkin ale. So ooh, good head, good head on it. A lot more than I thought. Um, well, here, let's go ahead and put it here and we'll be right back. Alright, so, uh, yeah, big old head. I got a good uh, two and a half or so, almost three finger head there. Um, let's go ahead and look at the color here. Which is a weird look. Let's go ahead and tap that and get the bubbles off the side. I got a couple of bubbles on the side. It's a very, uh, actually, kind of a weird color. It's a hazy. I want to say like a honey color, but like a light honey color, color but it's very, very hazy. And man, no, there's no light going through there. Hey, very, very tight packed uh, head though. Just off white, maybe like an eggshell uh, white head. But it's hazy, I mean, it's semi translucent, but very hazy. So I went down some, should I put some more in there? There's still some more in there. Let's go. Oh, by the way, this, like I said, it says it's a shandy. Let's, let's read what it says. So, so obviously it's a seasonal. It says wheat ale brewed with lemon peel and with natural flavors and pumpkin added. Excuse me, pumpkin added. It says with a little uh, skeleton hand. It says quite a refresher. So um, yep, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and smell it, shall we? It's got a slight, very, very slight pumpkin-y slash, uh, yeah, it's a weird, actually a weird smell for something with pumpkin. I, you know, you drink something with pumpkin, you just assume it's going to be that pumpkin with the allspice and the nutmeg and all that, but this ain't all that. It's got a slight lemony smell. Lemony with, the, you know, a wheat beer type lemony, lemon peel, I guess, smell. With a little bit of pumpkin, maybe a tad of maybe some cloves. Yeah, all right. Not a lot of smell, but I mean, what you got there, you got, like I said, you got that lemon. That lemon's really overpowering. Not overpowering, but I mean, that comes out first. Not a typical pumpkin smell. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. By the way, the head's going way down. Do I have some more in it? All right. Let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Wow. Yeah, very, very interesting. You know, it's, it, you do get like a pumpkin pie type of taste. But very, very light and lemony. You do get that lemon taste to it. Wow. That is very, very different. Almost like you have a slice of pe uh, pumpkin pie, and almost like some key lime pie mixed in. Does that make sense? You get a little tangy, lemony, plus the crust, the uh, the gingerbread type crust, crust, and pumpkin. So wow, that's that's different. It's not a it's not a true pumpkin. Of course, the Time Traveler Company is very well known for shandies. They got like I don't know how many. Three, four different shanties I've had. I know. So that's definitely, uh, definitely interesting. You want to taste it? Yep. 
Oh, baby, just flash me. Baby, come back here. Sorry, I'm all flustered. My, my woman just stood up and flashed me. Woo! I, I don't know where I was now. Hold on, where was I? Oh, oh yeah, very good beer. Uh, I'll drink it. See Well, Dennis, they only have one choice no matter, don't they? Well, that's, that's his choice. Get the hell!